kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this particular video let us solve a problem in which we have asked to prepare the liquidate as final statement of account the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question x company went into voluntary liquidation on 1st april 2022 the liquidation is entitled to remuneration of 3% on realization of assets and 2% on the total final amount distributed to all shareholders next the following was a position as on 31st march 2022 assets realized including assets given as securities 5 lakh the liquidators expenses amounted to rupees 9000 creditors including salaries and wages due treated as preferential is rupees 6000 and loans of rupees 25000 of for which assets offered as security realized to 18000 that is rupees 68000 total they have given 5000 6% preference shares of rupees 30 each dividend paid up to 31st march 2022 means one year dividend is due one year dividend is arrears is there that is rupees 150000 10000 equity shares of rupees 10 each rupees 9 paid up to rupees 90000 general reserve of rupees 120000 profit and loss account balance rupees 40000 Under the Article of Association, the preference shareholders have the right to receive one third of the surplus remaining after payment of the equity share capital and any arrears of dividend. To prepare liquidators' final statement of account, show necessary working notes. So this is about all the question whatever they have given. Now based on this information, we need to prepare the liquidators' final statement of account. Now see here. First. Let us write whatever the assets realized, value of assets realized. Assets such as realized, mark that there is total five lakh rupees. So, number three, we are getting the balance. We are having a balance of rupees five lakh. So, number three, five lakh rupees balance. This is the one. First, we have to pay to secured creditors. At the end of the month, one working note, number one, be kept. So see here, creditors. Total creditors is to the eighty sixty-eight thousand. So total creditors were sixty-eight thousand. Out of which they told that the preferential creditors are preferential creditors are six thousand. So six thousand if you minus from sixty-eight thousand, remaining will be sixty-two thousand. So in sixty-two thousand only. If you observe the question, they have told us what uh, loans of rupees twenty five thousand for which assets offered as security realizes eighteen thousand. So this eighteen thousand is the secured creditors, secured creditors. So if you minus eighteen thousand from sixty two thousand, the remaining will be forty four thousand. This forty four thousand will be unsecured creditors. So secured creditors is how much we have realized. Secure creditors is eighteen thousand. So first we are paying off eighteen thousand for secured creditors. So we had five lakh balance. In that eighteen thousand we are paying it off to the secured creditors. So if you minus this eighteen thousand from five lakh, it will be four lakh eighty two thousand. So we are still having four lakh eighty two thousand. Next we have to pay what? According to the format, we have to pay the liquidation expenses. Liquidation expenses. Liquidation expenses were amounted to rupees nine thousand. So there were nine thousand rupees liquidation expenses. So when you pay, you have to subtract it. So four lakh eighty-two thousand minus nine thousand will be four lakh seventy-three thousand. Now. Next, we have to give what? We have to give the liquid uh, liquidator remuneration. Liquidators remuneration. So they are told that the liquidator remuneration will be based on the three percent realization of assets and two percent on amount given to the shareholders. So they have so now here. 
liquidate our remuneration two items we have to pay one is on that is three percent on the assets value whatever we have realized and second one is two percent on whatever the amount we are paying to shareholders so that is the two items we have to pay first one we know that three percent on assets so three percent on total assets realize this five lakh so five lakh into three percent is fifteen thousand so fifteen thousand we are paying him off first so minus that fifteen thousand from this four lakh seventy three thousand you will get four lakh fifty eight thousand as the balance next leave two three lines gap any debentures are there so we don't have any debentures next straight away we will go to preferential creditors how much is the preferential creditors here we have seen the preferential creditors are rupees 6000 so 6000 we will first pay off to the preferential creditors so from this 458000 when we pay 6000 the balance will be 452000 Next, we have to pay to the unsecured creditors. Unsecured creditors are forty-four thousand. Unsecured creditors. It is forty-four thousand. Now, subtract this forty-four thousand. So four lakh fifty-two thousand minus forty-four thousand. It will be four lakh. Eight thousand, four lakh eight thousand. Now, what they have told that the equity shareholders will be paid amount as well as preference shareholders will be paid amount, but preference share capital is getting one third of the surplus. So first we have to pay it to whom? We have to pay it to preference shareholders. So first we'll take preference shareholders. Now preference shareholders. First, let us see the uh, preference share capital. Share capital. How much they have? So, in question, they have given that it is one lakh fifty thousand. First, let us give them whatever the capital amount we had received from them. That amount, let us give it off to them. So, from four lakh eight thousand, when you minus one lakh fifty thousand. So, four lakh eight thousand minus one lakh fifty thousand will be two lakh fifty eight thousand rupees. Remaining balance two lakh fifty eight thousand rupees. We are having in balance now. There is arrears are there, arrears. So, how much is the arrears? So, arrears how we need to calculate means see here the arrears will be based on the percentage. So, total share capital is one lakh fifty thousand. So. It is six percent preference shares means they should get six percent in interest. So one lakh fifty six one lakh fifty thousand into six percent interest. So because the interest the dividend is paid only up to thirty first March two thousand twenty one, but now we are at two thousand twenty two. So one year interest we have to pay. It will be nine thousand. So the arrears will be nine thousand. So subtract that also. Two lakh fifty-eight thousand minus nine thousand. So two lakh fifty-eight thousand minus nine thousand. It will be two lakh forty-nine thousand. Now see here, we need to calculate the surplus amount. Surplus amount because I have told that the preference shareholders will get one by third of the any surplus after the repayment of equity share capital. So here. See if you observe, this one lakh fifty six thousand is a preference share capital. So before it is paid, we had four lakh eight thousand. So the amount available, the amount available was four lakh eight thousand. In that four lakh eight thousand, we just paid them the remuneration. So let us think about the remuneration. So. Four lakh eight thousand into two percent is the remuneration. What they have told divided by one not two. If you do this, it will be how much? Four lakh eight thousand divided by one not two into two. It will be eight thousand. This is the remuneration. Second part he told no. We told the two part two percent 
amount paid to shareholders so that is 8000 so when you subtract that 8000 from this 4 lakh 8000 the remaining amount will be 4 lakh rupees so now this 4 lakh rupees is the amount available for amount available for shareholders so first let us distribute to the preference share capital that is preference shareholders that is 1 lakh 50,000 minus subtracted next uh, even you have to subtract that is equity shareholder capital is there so equity share capital is how much equity share capital is 90,000 next arrears we calculated arrears is 9,000 so from this 4 lakh subtract 1 lakh 50,000 and 90,000 and 9,000 the remaining will be 1 lakh 50,000 so this is the surplus so in this 1 lakh 50,000 we have to distribute to preference and equity preference will get one third and equity will get two third so next what comes is surplus so surplus is how much one lakh fifty one thousand into one by three one lakh fifty one thousand into one by three if you do the preference shareholders will get a surplus of five hundred five fifty thousand three hundred and thirty three next we need to distribute among equity shareholders so what is the equity share capital equity share capital is 90000 so apart from that apart from that we have to add the surplus so that is 151000 into 2 by 3 so 151000 into 2 divided by 3 will be 10000 sorry 1667 so we have distributed all the items now we need to do the totaling the asset side totaling is 5 lakh this side now let us see the payment side so 18,000 plus 9,000 plus 15,000 plus 8,000 plus 6,000 plus 44,000 plus 1,50,000 plus 9,000 plus 50,333 plus 90,000 plus 1,667 you will get the same amount being tallied even here also that is 5 lakh so this is how you need to solve the problem hope you have understood this problem very well if you have understood this problem please put in the comment box that you have understood at the same time if you have not understood please put all your queries in the comment box this is a very important chapter so we will try to help you people in getting your queries clarified if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and you will get the immediate notification of all my new uploads thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com